had anxiety for a long time, don't think it's gonna be a one and done, or you're gonna try it one week and then it's gone. This is something that happens over time. But if you are consistent, and if you follow practices that help you to reduce your stress and reduce your anxiety, you will find over time that your muscle will get stronger and you will be able to overcome these feelings of inadequacy and feelings of doubt, the feelings of waiting for the other shoe to drop. Okay, so number two is you want to have commitment because when you have commitment, you're going to dive in full force and make sure that you're going to change your life and reduce the anxiety. When you make that commitment, you seek out support, you might find a coach, you might go to therapy, you might find a support group, you might find a friend. You know, a lot of times we bottle these things up inside of us and then we feel you know, alone and we feel like we're odd. But sometimes when we share these things with others or we're in a group or we speak to a coach, we realize that these are normal feelings and that many lawyers are experiencing that. You know, there is something that's called chronic anxiety disorder, chronic stress. But if you make a commitment to it, you can overcome it. It's just like if you were saying you were gonna run a marathon, if you were, or you were gonna run a race, a 5K or a 10K. When you make that decision and you make that commitment, every day you take the action until you get to the race. So likewise with anxiety, you want to make that commitment so that you start changing how you think and changing your thoughts will change your results and you can actually eradicate, remove, and definitely reduce anxiety and stress in your life and in your law practice.